know what? Saying I love New Zealand is kind of a redundant point at this, well, point. Let's be honest. When most people think of me, they're thinking of either the hair, the pointless rambling, or the fact I'm from New Zealand, right? And one of the main reasons I love this country is just the fact that, well, it's a great fucking country for the most part, you know? Let's look at it this way. Like, your people are pretty much allowed to do whatever the fuck they want within reason, right? And then it's like you look at some of the politicians over history, and even now, worldwide. Like, look at things. Russia, you got Vladimir Putin, who a lot of people think is a complete scumbag at worst and a bit dodgy at best. You've got old Android 19 in North Korea, Kim Jong-un. I mean, even Donald Trump in America is politically divisive and maybe probably the most divisive president I've had in my lifetime anyway. I mean, George W. Bush towards the end of his tenure was unpopular, but you didn't have motherfuckers calling for his head right from when he took over as president. Dude was actually quite popular for a significant portion of his presidency, mainly because of events that happened during it, but I digress. Look at New Zealand. We've never really had a politician or someone in a position of power that was traditionally evil. I mean, you look at the National Party right now who are disliked by a significant amount of the country. Okay? You look at them. Look at the National Party. Look at the National Party over the last few years. They're not evil. They're just a bunch of asshole rich people who aren't in touch with your modern everyday New Zealanders. They are basically 1960s Batman villains. I mean, look at the motherfuckers. John Key back in the day looked just like Burgess Meredith's Penguin, had the whole nose thing going on. Judith Collins straight up fucking looks like Cesar Romero's bloody Joker. Actually, she looks more like Jack Nicholson's Joker now I think of it. Paula Bennett post weight loss looks like Cesar Romero's Joker. Like, straight up, all she needs is some white makeup, bickety-bam, she could easily pass as the granddaughter of Cesar Romero. You can't tell me otherwise. Seriously, all the National Party are is a bunch of incompetent comedy villains, basically. Let's be honest, 1960s Batman was a farce. It was a comedy. There was nothing fucking serious about Adam West's Batman. It was pretty much an unintentional comedy slash satire of the superhero genre. That's not the argument I'm trying to make. The point I am trying to make is, here in New Zealand, the worst we have is douchey rich politicians. We don't have outright villains. And yeah, these douchey rich politicians do dumb shit and put people at a disadvantage. But that's the worst they do. It's not, say, a communist country where people are being starved. It's not a country where we've got people threatening to nuke anybody. We literally just have a bunch of rich people nobody really gives a shit about. Oh, and one, one fat German guy that nobody likes, but that's, you know... We, we try not to speak of him. Like, seriously, we try not to speak of him. Like, it got to a point where Kim.com made John Key almost look like the good guy. That shouldn't happen. That should not happen at all. But yeah, again, love my country, love New Zealand. Don't necessarily like the politicians within, but shit could be worse, am I right? I'm Damien Skyfire, till next time.